Everybody wants a raise, right? And Norfolk's Mayor Paul Frame says city workers will get one. Frame's annual speech reviewed the accomplishments and the challenges ahead for the city. Ten of your side's Andy Fox joins us now with more. Andy? Nicole and 70 Frame said school and city employees deserve raises and will get them, but he couldn't tell anyone exactly how much of a raise? Frame then moved on to light rail, surviving Hurricane Irene, the importance of college sports in Norfolk. The tough economic year ended with Norfolk having an $11 million budget surplus. That is good news. And 8,400 new residents. The state of our city is sound. 1,000 people heard Norfolk Mayor Paul Frame say the city is sound, full of synergies on all fronts, from light rail to new business. He spoke about the future of Waterside. I talked with the manager, and they're down to two proposals that they like. Mayor Frame would not be specific, but 10 on your side has learned the two proposals are the Harvey Lindsay proposal, including conference center in place of Waterside, two hotels, and an office building. The other favorite proposal is the Cordish proposal, with more emphasis on live entertainment and restaurants. What we decided to do is have both presenters come to a public meeting at Waterside and make the presentations to the public. A source tells us if neither plan is workable financially, it will be back to the drawing board with a possibility that the Waterside will simply be refurbished. With Waterside as a backdrop, the mayor says this year's op sale will be the largest nautical event ever in Hampton Roads. It's not just tall ships this year, and the tall ships are very important. But it's U.S. Navy gray, you know, gray hull ships. It's ships from naval ships from all around the, the globe. Mayor Frame says this old broken down eyesore of a water fountain reported on by 10 on your side will be fixed by upsail in June. Norfolk's goal in the coming year, even better relations with the military. A study shows Norfolk is the second best place to look for a job only behind Oklahoma City if you are a retired military. Second's not good enough for Mayor Frame. What we want to do is be the best place in the world for the military to do business and for veterans to live and work. And big jobs have come to Norfolk this year. Mayor Frame also noted AECOM moving its regional headquarters to Norfolk. The firm has rented an entire floor in the new Wells Fargo Center building, 155 employees with, get this, a compensation package averaging $99,000 a year per employee. That is huge. Now with a major presence in Norfolk, Mayor Frame listed AECOM as just another example on why the state of the city of Norfolk is sound. If you want to read the mayor's state of the city speech, go to our website at wavy.com. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.